After his victory, Evan Mose Hyde told us his candidacy was below the radar, but that he is aware of the particular issues besetting the Union through a particular friendship. After watching on from the sidelines, he now steps into the spotlight. There were no assumptions. Uh, there can be no assumptions, uh, but I felt very comfortable in taking the step to say, listen, put yourself out there to either be rejected or, or to be supported. And uh, because I believe in what needs to be achieved by not only this union, but by unionism. And this just happens to be where I will, you know, say put down boots. The candidacy I felt felt very natural because um, I've kind of become, uh, you know, I want to see CWU win. I want to see it win as an entity and for what it does. And so, you know, I jump in and like I said to them, even if I was not going to be their guy, I wanted them to at least hear my voice, to, to give me respect for the fact that I was willing to be rejected, but that the message, even if you don't know, really rate me as a person, rate the message that unionism well done can have meaningful effects on the quality of the people who are participating uh, and committing themselves to solidarity. A clear majority of CWU members, judging by Saturday's results, have bought in. So what happens now for someone who readily admits that while he has stood beside some of Belize's prominent unions and cheered them on, he personally has little grasp of the inner workings of trade unionism. Hyde says he does have a lot to catch up on, but as for those suggesting a streak of vanity, or perhaps a jump to something more, they're barking up the wrong tree. People gonna write for think what they think and feel what they feel and to be as negative as they want to be or as positive as what they want to be. I could just be logical about it um, as I explained to people again, the couple groups that I met. Like, <laughs> for him, I come on. So I know I put myself in at this road to try to create one hype for me because I don't to come on already and I'm even comfortable with how much I really they out there sometimes. Can't look for glory because if you look for glory in this country, if you look for power in this country, you jump in at the party political process. I don't know how that that will probably happen. So I don't know. I don't know why you would have say you want to find vanity, satisfaction. They get in at the um, get panic wrong with workers and say make we rally together and achieve things. I mean, I know where I don't know, and now a good thing for know. Where you don't know. Uh, I know. I know very little, and I know there's a lot to know. So I never present myself as being anybody who have any long history of handling collective bargaining agreements, negotiating. That I know where I bring to the table. Why I tell you I bring to the table is a 100% commitment to the concept of solidarity. If we strong, and enough people they're wrong, and in fact they are who uh, offer me and be generous with their expertise as to say how this works and hopefully I am a quick enough learner. But I think when you have togetherness and, sh and that unity that you won't get the results where to look for. I, 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 I believe in that. I believe that, that we are better. Hyde inherits a union structure according to CWU General Secretary and President of the National Trade Union Congress of Belize, Floyd Neal, that has some work to do to engage its many members. The level of members' engagement isn't where we want it to be, so we still have some work to do to get members more involved in this union. Like our team said, the union, the union, the all of it, and not just me or the officers or my colleague at the secretariat. We're the least of it. We're necessary, but we also need them to be involved. So it is heartening to see the turnout today. We had hoped that the room would have been packed, overflowing, but thanks and welcome to come in. And there was also encouragement from guest speaker, senior counsel Lisa Schumann. It was built on the backs of unions, and those of you who are here get it. The point is where it has to happen now is that we have to go out there and sell it to everybody else. 
so that they believe it the way we do. Aaron Humes reporting for News 5.